as you can probably tell by now, we're back at the warehouse, and Chris actually brought his car as well. So he's gonna be doing work here, and uh, I think that'll be pretty exciting. So now we have three major projects in here. Uh, he's gonna be doing some like drift preparation, kind of. I think he wants to pull the interior and do some other stuff. He's got to do some uh, body work as well. So obviously this is kind of becoming kind of a body shop. But uh, yeah, so we're probably gonna move the trailer somewhere else and we're gonna have his car in the clean side. I know it's obviously not very clean anymore, but we just left it like this because we were here yesterday and I don't know. We're, we're, we're gonna make a lot more mess today. So um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the trailer out here. So that way if my dad needs it, he can get it and then we'll put your car basically here, like next to his, or we'll put it here. Um, uh, probably I'm there. This way, yeah. Against the wall. Yeah, so then if you could, the we're gonna wanna move that somewhere. Okay. We could probably move the trans elsewhere, and we then we'll turn. just shove the engine into the corner while he gets his car back there, and then we can put it kinda, so you have some room to work I around there. The first straight, because the first thing I gotta do is work on the driver's wheel area. Mm. No, no, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that you're, you're as far this way as possible, but with enough room to work around your car. Like the only reason he's so far backed up is because he doesn't have anything to do back there. Okay. So. Don't you? It, yeah. Looks hecka sketchy. I um. What we're down to swing the front over? Um. Yeah, that could work. Well, now that Chris's car is here at the shop, you're probably wondering why it's here and what he's gonna be doing to it while it's here. All right, so while it's here, we're gonna be, it was a daily, but I bought a daily. So now it's going full drift spec, well, full street car spec. So we're gonna be finishing the wrap, adding angle, coilovers, hydro, and gutting it. So it's gonna be dedicated as a drift car now and not a daily, so I'm excited for that and hopefully we can get it done before spring. Yeah, so I so then you're selling the whole interior? Um I'm uh I'm gonna keep that for a little bit. 
we'll I would see. say keep it until yeah. it's like drift spec and then drift it and see what you like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd say keep it. I miss my interior. Yeah, it, it's so clean. It's really not that bad. I say keep it. But obviously, if you're trying to lose as much weight as possible, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a heavy car, it's only an yeah. issue. So I just want to be competitive enough to keep up with Tyler and Frank. So. Yeah, but you have like a yeah, just, decent horsepower. I don't think it's an issue. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, we're going to start off with um, repairing a few of the body panels and the wrap. And then uh, we might do a home angle kit, homemade angle kit. Or, oh, okay. Because the angle kits for this car are like 1500 bucks, so we'll see. You're talking about WiseFab? Oh, I was thinking SLP. So. Okay. At that point, WiseFab's more expensive than that. Yeah, WiseFab's pretty, pretty expensive. Well, I don't know. I know. All I know is it's expensive, but yeah. I've, so, heard, I've heard it's worth it if you're pretty serious. But obviously, but, Frank seems to do okay with his modified yeah. lower control arms and knuckles. I mean, it's just, I think WiseFab, you don't have as much camber. I think that's the kind of positive thing about it. But it's more post. That's not bad. Oh, and do you, do you need more kidneys? Oh, yeah, I gotta buy kidneys now. Kidneys? Kidneys. kidneys, kidneys. The, oh. Yeah, the things that flew off yeah. whenever the hood flipped up on us on the way here, which we weren't going to talk about, but now it came up, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah on the way here, um, I have hood pins in, but uh, same as Frank's, D style. But I lost the bottom piece, so I just zip tied them down. Bad idea. Uh, you know, some of those don't come with the bottom piece. My friend who has a E46 in Cali, his didn't come with the bottom piece. Maybe yours are supposed to, but. Oh, Frank. Frank, Frank that show you these? Mine are also open. Yeah. You got some? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You're like the fifth person I've got to buy these. So. I got that now. Biggest mob. But, uh, what was I saying? Uh, you're talking about how your oh, yeah. hood so, flipped yeah, up? Oh yeah, the highway, hood zip tied, and then, yeah, me and Frank, we're, Tyler's sleeping in the back, so he wasn't worried about it, but me and Frank were constantly checking the hood, and then, yeah, we, we, then the tire lady came we were 20 minutes away from the shop, about an hour or something away, so we just like, we're like, okay, it'll be good, we'll make it, and just hood flies up, big bang, Tyler woke up, we all screamed, and then, yeah, we fixed on the side of the highway, and, yeah, there's a, Bunch of damage on the hood. But we'll yeah, there's, it there's, it's basically like the, the inside yeah. skin started to split all the way around, but I think it'll be easily fixable. You might, I don't think you'll have to, well, if you, the thing is like, this piece will be really easy to rewrap if you have to do it yourself. I'm, yeah, wouldn't be bad. But you're definitely gonna have to if you wanna bodywork this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not really a big deal. I don't know why it came up. It's not like we're dumb for zip tying it. We literally had it wrapped around like the kidney holes and everything, so yeah. But then the he had like brand new kidneys with the like M marks in there, and uh, yeah, those definitely flew off. Live and yeah. learn. Don't zip tie your hood. Take that extra. Well, definitely do. It works for Frank. So then why did it break? Because he put it too loose. Right? Oh, yeah, I think that's why. I what? gave it too much slack. Well, you're not gonna get any slack in the comments. Yeah, definitely not. What? Oh, you can if you have something to say. I was literally just filming shit. Oh, I was seeing how much you did, but I was say, no one, no one knows what I'm doing. I, I'm besides pretty sure everyone knows that no, you're. Like besides, like full. I mean, I feel like there's nothing on. Besides the, the turbo. Video. Besides the turbo, I'm tubing it. I don't know. Yeah, we, we are you tubing it from we here on, like, or? We'll All right. Anyways, we kept these because we're gonna have to try and mount these and then maybe build the tube around that and. I don't know, it's just going to be a bitch to have to align this to where the hood is, so... Yeah, we don't know if we're just going to try and reattach the core support or what. Um, we are moving the radiator further forward, that way we have clearance for the turbo hot side piping. And uh, so we don't know what all is going to go on here, but... Yeah, pretty much we're just prepping the bay to be painted and shaved. Are you doing... Well, these are the... the whatever, coolant, heater core. Uh, you're, you're shaving that? Everything will be shaved. Yeah. So that would be nice. Except for this, but that's, oh fuck, never mind. I have to, I have to I'm shaving everything, everything will shave. Everything except for where your no, ECU wire is gonna come through. I have to put that out through here, right here. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I have a four inch down pipe coming right here. I don't want my Yeah, it might ECU. be a little warm. Warm. Angle 
Anyways, we're gonna be getting out of here pretty soon. Uh, I know it's probably a little bit of a short video and a lot of talking and we didn't really do too much, but uh, yeah, pretty much the whole premise of coming here for today was to bring Chris's car here and obviously we successfully did that, at least partially, uh, obviously with a little bit of mishap. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out. And keep moving forward.